What's up, Foundation? Foundation Nation in the house, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Uh, it's story time again, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We got to try to get one in real quick. Um, uh, Last time I spoke, you know what I'm saying? I went live, and I told you I was going to come with it. Uh, the one little homie that be on there be asking me about the uh the Bay Area story. I ain't forgot you, homie. I ain't, I ain't forgot you. I'm trying to figure figure out uh, certain situations that I went through, you know what I'm saying, and I can talk about it. But, uh, yeah, as y'all can see from the um, from the title, this is a story about, man, when uh, I was in the pen, man, and the pack got busted. You know what I'm saying? It got busted, man. But before I go into it, you know what I'm saying, um, I was going through YouTube this morning, and I ran into a, a little cat. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to say, I'm not, you know, I don't want to say his name. I don't want to say his, uh, his, his channel. But uh, if he see this, he going to know I'm talking to him. Um, you know, I be having, you know, I know how to, I know how to handle you trolls. You know, y'all come out, y'all come out the woodwork, boy, like roaches. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, be, it don't be nothing but some trolls and uh, clout chasers. I don't know why y'all try to latch on to me, homie, because I know how to handle, I know how to handle you marks. <laughs> you don't get no airplay with me, homie. Nate thing. Every now and then, I might give one of y'all one video. One. But now, partner, you don't even get the one video. You don't get nothing. You ain't nothing. You a scrub. But uh, you was mentioning, said, uh, because I had uh, I had uh, eye rings and um, I had dreads with my hair cut off on the side. You said, uh, uh, I look soft. <laughs> I had a soft face. Boy, man, boy, I laughed at that, y'all. Man, I laughed at that. Boy, I've been called a lot of that. Fool say I had a big body with a soft uh, gay face. <laughs> boy, boy, I had to laugh. Man, I had to laugh. Man, I had to laugh at that, boy. I don't know where y'all come from, but I, I think you about the third person. I think you about the third. I think you about the third troll. I had I had about seven, eight of y'all try to bait me in and go back and forth with you, but it ain't gonna happen. But I think y'all. I think you about the third one that says something about my eye rings. You know, um, yeah, it's a fashion statement though, homie. But the cold part about it, man, you and the uh, and the other one or two dudes. That uh got an issue with that. Man, that'd be a cold thing, boy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all saying a person with an eye range look this way and that way. But man, that same person to beat the teeth out your mouth. Boy, that's that's that that ain't that that'd be messed up. Boy, you got something to say about about that. But that same person, me, uh <laughs> beat the teeth out your mouth. <laughs> okay. So, you know, the last troll that came out the woodwork, he don't even show his face. He don't even show his face. He was commenting on, um, you know, me calling out Dewberry. Um, you know, saying Dewberry got to take that fade. Yeah, man, the, him or you ain't going to take the fade. Period. Two cowards, birds of a feather flock together. You know what I'm saying? So, if, uh, what'd you say? I, I, I look uh, Swedish. I look sweet or gayish or something in the face. <laughs> That's funny to me, boy. You make me laugh. <laughs> I ain't laughing at that one, though. Ain't no thing, though. But, yeah, that's another troll, y'all, that come out the woodwork. Want some, you know, he wants some airplay. He wants some fame <clears throat> from the overlord himself. But, anyway, to the story. Uh, Man, I'm, man, we in prison. We in the, um, prison in Alabama. In a maximum security prison, man. We in West, uh, we in West Jefferson at the time. And uh, we on the south side. We on this years and years ago, homie. We on the south side. The south side is the part of the prison where they got the dorm living at. They got they got the old people dorms, and they have the program dorms, like for the drug programs and the um, anger management programs and stuff. They got those dorms out there. Then they got two uh, just regular dorms for people that that they feel excuse me that they feel can be out there in that type of environment. Um. At this time, I was in the I was in the drug program. Me and uh, a couple of my homeboys. So you know, out there we had what was called the Cali car. The Cali car was uh, you know, all of us that was from California, whether it was Crip or Blood, we had banded together out there. It was about six or seven of us, homie. You know what I'm saying? We did our thing. You know what I'm saying? We ate together. You know what I'm saying? Did everything together. Slept. 
When we all went, one went to sleep, we all went to sleep, one went to chow, we went to chow. The whole hookup, lift weights together, the whole, the whole thing, you know? You know, we had that unity. You know, Kelly got that unity and that structure, you know what I'm saying? Other people don't. So no matter, even that, even though we way out here in Alabama, <clears throat> we still had that unity and that structure going on. <clears throat> and boy, look here, you better know you was not fin to fade, not one of us. It was fin to be trouble, 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 you know? But anyway, man, uh, one of the little homies, man, I ain't going to say his name. He uh, He's still incarcerated. He was, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, boy, he was, he, he had, he had the prison in a headlock. He was doing his thing, homie, you know what I'm saying? He was getting it in by the pounds and pounds and pounds. You know what I'm saying? I used to watch him sometimes. I knew when he was finna get it in, because uh, the, the morning that it was gonna come in, he would ease around. He'd always sit outside on the bench, <clears throat> and he'd watch the police. He'd be watching, he'd be watching. So, uh, I'm watching him. I like that, yeah, yeah, homie finna pull a stunt. He finna do something. So, okay, we waiting, we waiting, we waiting. And um, we scored. Well, I'm going to say he scored. But now when he scored, it's like everybody from the Cali car scored. Because the homie looked out. He looked out for all of us. You know, he, oh, excuse me. Yeah, he looked out for us royally. So, uh, boom, he come in. He had another little partner that he was dealing with. Uh, dude out of Alabama. I forgot where the little dude was from. Uh <clears throat> They would, you know, they would come together, you know, do whatever, however they been doing. I really wouldn't get it that deep into it. All I knew was um, when it hit, we was getting broke off. We was doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? Homie would look out for us royally. We depended on them a lot. So on this certain day, I had a phone in there. You know what I'm saying? My other phone, it got popped. And um, I'd have my wife at the time, not the wife I'm with now, but another lady I was married to. I had her at the time put a phone in the pack for me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we, when we hook it up, getting everything together, whatever we needed coming in, we would all, you know, boom, 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 have whoever was going to meet, whoever was going to meet, whoever was going to do, whoever was going to do. Boom. So when, when it all got sacked up, racked up and bagged up, when it was coming in, everything would be there. So, okay. I had a phone, man. It was a cold little phone. Little, it was a, a, a nice little, uh, at the time, I think it was a uh, Alcatel, Little blue one. She sent me a blue one on purpose. You know what I'm saying? That's the kind of phone I want. Said, Baby, get the blue one. Get the blue one. So, bang. Send me the um, send me the blue one in. And we got it in that night. And it came in late. So, uh, when it came in late, like, okay. Didn't really want to break it down at the time. Not not right then. So, it was like, okay, well, look. This is what we're going to do. We just go, go ahead and put this pack up. And then we, you know, break it down the next day. And at the time, man, the homie just scored two pounds. You know what I'm saying? Two, two whole, two, you know, two whole ones. The whole thing. Nice on some good green. Some good green, homie. So, bing. We took it. And up front by the door where you're going out the door to go in and out, we had peeled the uh, paneling back, the metal, the metal sheet paneling. We, you know, had, we distracted the police because it wasn't number one police in the dorm. We distracted the police, uh, boom, and we peeled that paneling back and we shoved, we shoved the packs up in there, boom, shoved the whole, the whole we, didn't, we didn't go in it, we didn't look in it, and we shoved it up there, you know what I'm saying, with some weed, some, uh, a bunch of cell phones, uh, some black and miles, uh, some other, you know, little, you know, knick-knack paddywhack stuff that we was getting in at the time, other little, little miscellaneous things that you couldn't have in prison, we would get, we was getting them in, so, um, when we peeled the paneling back, we put it up, we put it up, boom, boom. So, okay, when we get up in the morning, homie, we'll, you know, get the pack, and we'll go ahead and um, break it on down and, you know, distribute it, you know, send everything that's supposed to go here and there, everywhere. We was going to handle that. So, went to bed that night feeling real good. You know, we feeling good. My glasses hurt my eyes, homie. I'm going to take them off. So, we feeling real good about ourselves. So, man, listen here. Went through the whole night, man. The next morning, early that morning, about about five that morning, man, all you heard was a big, loud boom, boom. Police run up in there with the little, with the, with the, with a, 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 I ain't going to say it was a flash grenade. It was just a noise maker, just, you know, spook everybody. Of course, you had some dudes up was still running around, but when they come in, boom. Everybody up, everybody up on your feet. Everybody up on your feet right now, right now. They had called the goon squad in. Now, you know, the goon squad, you know, 
they 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 run around from prison to prison to prison, you know, searching, tearing up stuff, ripping stuff up, shaking you down, doing a whole hookup. Now, this this goon squad came in from what prison I don't know. It's not like a certain prison. Well, they got a bunch of different police that they called the CERT team, C E R T. You know what I'm saying? The CERT team. It was a CERT team of rather than school. Now, what what did C E R T? Uh, uh, what did that mean? Um, each letter meant something. C E R T, the CERT team. It meant something. Some 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 uh team, whatever. But uh, they, it's a bunch of different police that apply for it. If they get you know accepted, they'll come in. And they get on the cert team, and they know they know when it's gonna be a hit. They all come together, they group up, stage up outside the prison, put all their stuff on, <clears throat> go on up in there, and they do their thing. Okay, so uh, they came on up in here. So we get up, we like, dang, dang, you know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So now what they do? They come, to everybody make. Once you get up, then they make you get on, you know, get back on the bed, lay flat on the bed with your hands over your head like this here. Just look straight ahead. You got to have your hands on your head. Sometimes they have you look down into the bed with your hands on your head. Then when they come to you, uh, if, depending on what you have on, you got to strip down to nothing but your uh, your drawers and your little flip-flop, your little shower shoes. Once they tap you, boom, next, next, they'll tap your foot. You'll get up, you know, they'll strip search you, <clears throat> search you down, drawers. They'll strip your butt naked, search you. Boom, now you put your drawers back on and your shower shoes and go outside by the gate. They got when you get outside by the gate, they got a bunch of more police <clears throat> that's lining you up in these rows. So we lining up in rows. Boom. So now by the time they got everybody out there, I just so happen to be next to the homie. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say the homie like I say. He from Main Street Crypto. He from Main Street. So uh uh we standing there, so you know, we talking real low. I'm like, dang, cub, man, these fools hit like this. They're like, yeah, homies. Dang. I said, man, I hope they don't catch them. You're like, yeah, they shouldn't, you know, shouldn't be no problem. It had been there before, and the police is searching. They never, you know, they never found it. So, okay. So we standing out here by the gate. Every now and then, they might call a certain bed number, and, you know, if you sleep on that bed, you come on back in, and they take you to the bed, you know, to do whatever they're going to do with you. They might have found something or Whatever, you know what I'm saying? They might want to just talk to you or something. I got a headache. But anyway, so we out there all morning, homie. You know what I'm saying? You know, two, three hours done went by. They searching. They tan it up now. They looking. <clears throat> they find it. They, they find it other people's cell phones. They find it, you know, look, a little miscellaneous dope here and there. Uh, they find it. They find it knives. All that, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they searching it down. Boy, they tan it down. They knocking it down. So cool. Man, here they come with the dog. The dog coming. Now, the dog coming, he going from bed to bed. He's sniffing. He doing what he doing. Boom, 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 boom. He looking. You know, he looking for that dope. He looking for that weed. Um, I seen I seen some dudes, uh, phones get busted because that the day before or whenever, that same day or the day before, whatever, they might have been fooling with that weed or whatever. Then they talking on their phone. They phone got that weed smell all on it. And the dog hit. The dog hit right at that phone. And um, cause they think it's weed. And I seen a lot of dudes lose their phones. I mean, lose their phone like that. So um I used to make sure that uh whenever I handled it, I made sure I didn't mess with my phone. Now you know, handle it. Me, I might be sacking it up, selling it or something. I didn't smoke it. So, you know, I, that wasn't my thing. Anyway, so now they bring the dog in. Man, the dog, he he up in there. So, you know, I ain't really tripping at first. I'm not really tripping at first. So after about 10 minutes, I'm going to say about 15 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes, I hear a, a crack like, and we know the sound. It's the sound of that metal, of that metal being pulled away from the wall, being cracked open and pulled away from the wall. So me and the homie, we look at each other like, dang, cuz. So we trying to ease back, but we trying to look back. But now a lot of times the police catch you. They go tell you, turn around, turn around, face the gate, face the fence, face the fence. So we're like, dang. Face the fence, my foot. We turned around. We looking. It's about eight police, you know, right there, right there where you come in the door at. So we knowing, we knowing, dang, man, they done hit the spot. They done hit the goddamn spot. 
So it's like, dang, now we hear the crack, crack. They cracking it all the way up. And you got to go, once you go up in there, you got to go way, way, way up in there to find where we done pushed the pack at. But they found it. They went up in there and found the pack, y'all. Man, I was sick. Now, my homie was sick because most of his money was up in that pack. You know what I'm saying? I'm sick because I'm losing a whole nother phone. I just lost the phone two, three days before that. Now I'm finna lose another one. I'm like, dang, you know, granted, phones in Alabama really don't cost that much. Especially um way back then. This was years and years and years ago. But even right today, man, you can get a you can get a you can get a touch screen, you know what I'm saying, about five hundred dollars. You know, it ain't no thing. They everywhere. But anyway, so uh we see the police. We hear one of them holler, got it, got it, got it. We look it. Man, he come down with the whole thing, man. The whole thing. Whew. We just look, homie. We just looked. I'm like, dang, there go my phone. They go all the green. Boom. So they searched, man. They, they, you know, they trotted off with it. They searched about another hour, hour and a half more. You know what I'm saying? Then they, you know, they they ran us all back in. All right. You know, H or whatever, whatever dorm it was. You take it back in. Take it back in. Man, the dorm tore up, ripped up, shredded up, stuff, mattresses thrown everywhere, clothes thrown everywhere, personal property, pictures and stuff all over the floor everywhere. You know, I mean, they, they, they do that on purpose, man. Tear your stuff up like that. Mess it up bad on purpose. So we're like, okay. All right, cool. So, man, uh, we didn't even, we didn't, you know, we didn't even go to the wall and check. We didn't even go look. We know it was gone. You know, another loss. But now in that in that thing, you know, you're gonna take them type losses. You we, we already know it, you're gonna take them. The homie bounced right back though. You couldn't keep him down. You couldn't slow him down, you couldn't keep him down. You 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 knock him, you hit him, you hit him in the left jaw, he was gonna bounce back and hit you in your right jaw. You hit him in his left eye, he was gonna bounce back, hit you in your left eye. Police couldn't stop it, man. You know, the homie was a one man wrecking crew. He was getting he was getting he he was doing it. I just wanted my me a phone though, man, you know. But make a long story short, you know, I end up getting another phone. It didn't take too long. You, you go you, if you can get your own phone sent in for free, you know what I'm saying? What you know, however we was getting it sent in, or you just go buy one, man, if you ain't got it. But that, that's what I eventually had to do. But anyway, yeah, man, I wanted to get that little story in real quick, man. Oh man. But yeah, foundation, man. Y'all, y'all been rocking with me, man. Rocking with me, man. This just was a little quick, 15, 20 minute one, real fast. I got some things I got to do, man. I got to get ready for work. But, uh, you know, like I always say, homie, you know, <laughs> a gang of don't bang, homie, Avalon, gangsters, I'm out.